everyone, it's Amber Foster from Durant, Oklahoma, and today I'm going to be showing you how to turn um, this inexpensive Dollar Tree into a high dollar um, flocked looking Christmas tree. So the first thing we're going to do is um, once you take it out of the box, you really just want to make sure that all the branches are fluffed up nice and pretty. As y'all come on here today, let me know how many of you are putting your Christmas tree up. Debbie Sorensen says hi from the Poconos. Oh, I have no idea where that's even at. Where are the Poconos? <laughs> my blonde is probably showing. But history and geography was never my um, best subject. I was always a math person. So we are going to fluff these up. This may, normally I don't get my tree up the day after Thanksgiving like I would like to, so maybe this will get me motivated to uh, get it over in the house. Sheree McDaniel says hello from Oklahoma. Hey, I know where that's at. Okay, so once you have it nice and fluffed out, what you're gonna do is just take a spray bottle. When I did my really, really big tree, I used almost one of those insect sprayer things that you pump up and that worked better, but this is a smaller tree. This is the tree that we're using to decorate down at our shop. And um, so I'm just using a handheld spray bottle. Now, if your tree is pre-lit or if your tree has lights on it, you want to make extra sure that you are unplugged for this step. You do not want to be plugged in. You don't have to cover the lights or take them off or anything like that. You just don't want it plugged in and you don't want to plug it back in until at least 24 hours after you're done and everything has had a chance to dry out really well. So we're just gonna kind of spray the top section here really, really well. You wanna kind of lift up the branches because your snow is not gonna stick to anywhere that there's not water. Do we have any people say that they were putting their tree up today? Or is everybody Black Friday shopping today? Well, there's quite a few with their trees up. Oh, quite a few already got their trees up. Okay, so we have a pretty good coat on this top section. So let me show you what I'm going to use. This is called Snow Flock, and it's premium decorative artificial snow flocking powder. Um, when I did my tree, I really wanted the best out there, and I thought there, this was the best. There are probably other options available, and I believe there's an affiliate link for this on Home Talk's site, and there's also one on my site at amberfostercreativity.com. It has the whole blog post of how to do this, and it sells out pretty quickly, so I'm hoping they still have some out this late in the year. And we're just going to, this is actually the box I used last year. I flocked my huge seven and a half foot tree, two small entryway trees, and now we've got more than enough to do this tree. Okay, um, normally I don't wear a mask, but this stuff kind of goes everywhere. So I am going to put it on. So hopefully y'all can still hear me. I think you can, because it does get stinky. Maybe I can cover my nose and not my mouth. I'll be like a duck. <laughs> okay, so then you're just gonna take this sifter. I'm actually gonna put it, I think, in down here. Fill the sifter up. And then you're just gonna make it snow over your Christmas tree. And it does get messy, so show them the drop cloth down there, babe. We have a drop cloth down there to catch this. If you sweep it up right after, you're fine. But I'm the world's worst about procrastinating on my cleanup. So I put a drop cloth down so that I can just throw it away. And it will get on your hands, but it'll wash off easily. Shauna's watching. Shauna's watching? Mm -hmm. You're Shauna? Mm -hmm. Shauna you work with? Hey, Shauna. And so that top section looks pretty good. So we're gonna spray some more water. And it's okay if you spray back over what's already fallen on there. Water activates it, and it's what makes it puff, puff up like puffy snow. So it's not gonna hurt a bit to spray back over. I might actually spray a little on there and if more snow will stick on top of it. Hey, 
They want to know if this is pet friendly. Guys, I really don't know. I'm sure if you go to the Snowflock site, it does say, I want to say that I thought that it was, but my pets, they don't chew on the tree. So I really didn't research it very much as far as that goes. But if you click on the link in my blog post um, at amberfostercreativity.com, it will take you to their site. And I really think that was in one of the FAQs. I just don't remember. If you can do it as heavy or as light, I think we have some water there, as you like it to be. But just know if there's not water there, it's not going to stay. Some people have just joined want to know what product you're using. This is Snowflock. And can you zoom in there in that? You see it has like little sparkly stuff in there too, like iridescent. And you can zoom in on that box too. And it can only be ordered online. And you're spraying with just water? This is just plain old water. And it does not hurt it if you spray back over what you've already sprinkled on. It actually will just make your snow a little thicker. Samantha wants to know how long this lasts. Well, I'm on year two with my tree and I'll show you it at the end. Um, it really just depends on how well you take care of your tree. I didn't take our tree apart last year. I just kind of moved it to the garage and it's fine. I lost a little snow, like moving it back and forth, but it dries pretty hard once it dries. So I think it would last a while. What's the price range on the uh, snowflake? I can't remember that either. I don't think it was bad. I don't think it was more than $30 for the box. And like I said, I have plucked a seven and a half foot tree, two topiary trees, and now this tree, and then I will still have some left in the box. And I've snowed all of those projects pretty heavily. So you could probably go in with a family member and split a box up because there's a lot in a box. And I, I think I tried the spray snow before, but this just, I really like the look of this way better. It looks professional, like a tree you would buy pre-flopped. Can you use cornstarch? I have not tried cornstarch. I have seen other people try it, but I really didn't want to mess my tree up. <laughs> so I didn't want to try anything less than something that I knew was going to look really professional. Rita says you are a genius. <laughs> about that but is it, it, is it toxic um I don't think so but I don't think you should like eat it or breathe it in like on purpose okay I was gonna say something I don't remember oh yeah I mean it's definitely a lot cheaper than buying a fully blocked tree so then I'm gonna give it all one more spray because that activates the flocking I don't know if you've ever got that like grow snow for your kids once it gets wet, it kind of grows. So once you get it wet, it makes it expand a little bit. And I'm not paying a ton of attention to the back because this is going in the window at our store. So I really don't need a lot on the back of it. Would this work on a real tree? I think it would. I don't know that I would want to spend that much money if I was going to throw it away because <laughs> I'm cheap. But I think it would work just the same on a real tree. I'm going to give it one more good sprinkle. All over. And also on my other tree, I'll show you at the end. Um, it's for my house and it's a little more glitzy. I want this one to be a little more rustic. I also sprinkled glitter over the top of it. And it stuck really well. And then if you can see down in here, it catches these iridescent flakes. So when you're done, you can kind of just throw them at the tree. But I, like I said, I want this one to be a little more on the rustic side. So I don't want as much sparkle. 
Okay, now I'm gonna give it one more spray of water because that's just really important. If you don't have it wet, it's just gonna fall off and it's not gonna harden and it's not gonna stay. So it's kind of a process, but it's not hard and it's not that time consuming. So now's the point, if you wanted to add glitter, you could sprinkle it. I think I did big glitter, but fine glitter would probably stick really well. Now, once you have it all sprayed, not all in my hand, there are just a few little patches in there that I feel like I've been there that you couldn't sprinkle very well. So I just take a little white spray paint. I know we're indoors, but I don't think anybody's going to die. And I just kind of lightly go kind of in between my branches. Kind of, you know, where the trunk is, where I just couldn't quite get as much snow coverage as I wanted. I just lightly spray it. Because y'all, this was like a super cheap tree. $15, I think is what I paid for this tree. And if you had an old tree, you wouldn't have to pay anything for a tree. But that does not look like a $15 tree anymore. So you're just going to kind of fill in. And you can, I mean, do this as much or as little as you like, depending on the amount of coverage that you want. So I think that's covered pretty good. Maybe just the underside of a couple of those. Okay. So that is this finished tree. And I think we have a little time left. So Jacob, you'll come over here. This is the tree. This is our actual tree for our house that I plucked last year. And I don't know if you can come in really close. Like there's big, big piles of snow on here and they are hard and it's not falling off. And I did put the glitter in here and the little iridescent things. So I feel like it lasted really well. This was a pre-lit tree and so some of the lights are frosted, but they still glow really well. And um, I had a lot of you ask me about the tree decorations on this tree that clicked over to the blog post. So I'm going to give you just a few little decorating tips on how I decorate this tree and before we sign off here. That is my tree topper bow that I didn't take off, so it probably needs some fluffing. I may have to get the ladder out for that. But... If you're interested in how to make a tree topper bowl, I have a membership group. If you go to amberfostercreativity.com and click on Foster Your Creativity, this month in there we are learning how to make um, a really fancy tree topper bow. And the video is still up. So, I'm going to give you just a few little tree decorating tips. The first one being the lights that come on the tree are never enough. So, I add a few extra lights onto the tree, and that's kind of boring to watch. So I'm gonna skip that step, but you're gonna pretend that I put these on there. And when I do that, my tree is in the corner in my house, so I push it, I just put the lights on the front. I'm lazy, I don't do the back, because somebody's gonna see it. And then the next step, this is probably my favorite tip. I like to have the same ribbon throughout the tree that matches my tree topper. And used to, I would wrap my ribbon around and around and around, and I believe I saw this tip from Julie Samaku, I think on one of her tree decorating videos, and I thought it was a wonderful tip. So you just take lengths of ribbon. These are probably, I don't know, five to six feet long. And I dovetailed both of the ends of the ribbon. And I will just place these on the tree. Rather than going all around because I like you to be able to see the tails. It doesn't use as much ribbon. And for those of you that will end up asking, this ribbon came from Sam's on those really big rolls, and I think I bought it last year. I don't know for sure if they have it this year or not. And so I'll just kind of place those throughout the tree. And they don't look super fancy yet, but once you get everything added and taught into it, it does end up looking super fancy. Did anybody go Black Friday shopping on Thursday? <laughs> That's what I did mine last night on Thursday. I got the kids their stuff 
and then I was done. Okay, so this was probably what I put on the sides in the back. So I'm gonna lay that to the side. The next step I did was I had kind of some oversized ornaments. So you want to do those first. Put your bigger ones on first. Start with the biggest things and then go down to the littlest things. Any questions or comments coming in? No? Everybody's watching instantly? Okay. Can you remind them the materials tutorial are in the comments? Yes, all of the materials will be in the comments. But on the flocking, we use basically just snow flock and water. I think I've got a couple more of these big ones in here. So you just want to space them out really well. And then I think my next biggest ones are going to be like these red berry balls. I think the big ones and these both came from Hobby Lobby. So this is kind of a rustic tree with um, a little bit of glitz to it. And I'm going to stuck together because I didn't store my ornaments properly. So I'm not going to stick them all on there, but I just want to kind of give you an idea. So if you are tree decorating today, um, I'm definitely not an expert at this, but it'll give you a little bit of direction on which way to go. So we had our big ones and then our next biggest ones. And then these here, I love these. Also came from Hobby Lobby. And we're just going to kind of fill them with those. These definitely give it kind of a woodsy, rustic. Y'all tell me how you decorate your tree. Have you got on the rustic farmhouse bandwagon? Or are you still with the popular lime and red? Or do you just do totally traditional red and green? That's what I did for years, red, green, and gold. I think last year was the first year um, that I updated our tree. And then after those, I had just some rustic kind of burlapy snowflakes. And I think these came from Hobby Lobby too. And they're a bigger one. So they really fill in nicely. I want to say they're not so much gold as they are, I guess, a pewter color maybe. They're kind of a cross between silver and gold. Okay, and then I just have kind of these pewter gold color balls. These would be the smallest ones. And then you would just fill in any empty gaps left on your tree with these. And then I'm going to show you my most favorite thing. How do you store it in the tree? How do I store the tree? That is an excellent question. I just took all my ornaments off of it. I did not wrap anything over it. Um, I just stored it out here in the shop in a room. I just carried it in one whole big piece right through that door outside, and then I carried it right into my shop. And um, this year, because I do want it to last a couple years, I will probably throw a huge painter's drop cloth over the tree just to keep dust and stuff from collecting. But I honestly didn't do anything to it this year other than carry it. And some of the snow will flake off, but it was not enough to notice. Now, this is my favorite thing, my last thing to add in the tree. These really sparkly picks, these are also from Hobby Lobby. And you just go through and randomly, something doesn't want to stay where I want it to go, randomly poke them in through the tree. And it just gives a little pop of red and sparkle and glitter. And I'm sure if you frequent Hobby Lobby as I do, you know all the Christmas is half off right now. And I know I would have bought all this half off. So you can really decorate your tree on a dime because it's all half off. The ribbon came from Sam's. Um, I got the tree, this big tree last year at Walmart on Black Friday. And I noticed they had the same ones this year for $69. So you get something that looks like a professional decorated it 
I mean, I'm not sure what I have in the ornaments, but less than $200. And if you go and just buy a pre flock tree, you're definitely going to spend um, more than $200. So, I think that's it for today. Jacob, show them our tree that we flocked today. Again, so this is the one we flocked, and we're going to let it dry um, for 24 hours before we do anything with it, before we plug it in. And before we move it, it's just going to totally sit here for 24 hours till it's completely dry. And then we can take it in, plug it in, decorate it, and then after the season's over, we can undecorate it, throw a drop cloth over it, and just put it in the closet or the shop as far as that goes. So, um, if you guys are interested in seeing um, what my tree looks like fully decorated, um, hop on over to my Facebook page. Um, it's just... Well, what is it? Amber Foster Creativity. I have a couple Facebook pages, so I think about it. But that's my page, Amber Foster Creativity. And once I get it all put in my house and decorated, um, I'll post a picture there as well. And I think that's it for today. I think Home Talk has all the supplies you need in their affiliate link. And as always, we appreciate you sharing our videos. And we will see you guys next time.